There's only one railway in North America that has been a part of nearly 400 feature films, TV shows, and commercials. The Fillmore and Western Railroad is a favorite with Hollywood producers because of its location, equipment, and expertise in railroading. The railroad is located in the town of Fillmore, California, which lies about 50 miles north of Los Angeles. There's something very familiar about the trains you'll see rolling through this part of the Santa Clara Valley. You know, you've seen us a hundred times. You just don't know it. So, so that makes it kind of interesting. The Fillmore and Western Railroad is called the home of the movie trains because they've been a part of so many productions, ranging from magazine shoots to television commercials, primetime hit shows, and feature films. A couple of weeks ago, we had uh, Fear Factor out doing stunts. CSI, uh, pretty much all of the TV productions that's close to Hollywood come out and visit us occasionally. So that's, that's kind of fun. Being part of those productions helps keep their vintage diesel engines and rolling stock along with a 1913 steam locomotive in regular service and out of a museum. Helping keep this historic equipment on the rails is an army of volunteers. My nickname on this railroad is Blackie because I was covered in soot the very first day I came here as a volunteer. But David is not your typical railroad volunteer. I'm actually a professional musician. Uh, I'm an orchestra pit musician most of my work is Broadway shows. So it works out in my favor because during the day, I've got free. And so I can come here and volunteer and at night do my gigs. He's one of many volunteers from the area that come to help keep this 1913 Baldwin steam locomotive in operation. Just getting the opportunity to be up close with one and being able to take care of one and to help like maintain one, it just feels really special. It's just to be around these machines, that it just inspires so much romanticism and inspiration. A lot of our volunteers are, are very interesting people from non-railroad backgrounds, which is wonderful. And it's nice to have a new generation and new blood into steam railroading. It's a great example of like if someone cares enough, you know, these trains can be running again. They can be working pieces of beautiful, beautiful machinery that you know people can enjoy. And hundreds of thousands of people do each year, thanks in part to Sarah and David. They help in creating a one-of-a-kind experience for all to enjoy. Most passengers venture to the open-air cars. Here, your senses come alive. You can smell the fruit trees, feel the gentle breeze, and bask in the warm sunshine. Oh my gosh, well, it's a beautiful day out. We have this gorgeous Southern California weather, and just to be outside and appreciating the scenery and doing something with my family is amazing. The railway has a large variety of cars for you to ride in. Another favorite is the Palatan. It's a beautifully restored 1928 Pullman parlor car with some very unique features. The inside interior is still primarily as it was when they made it in 1928. The brass fans are still original. The lighting is still original, all the hardware. And it was able to be preserved and, and restored back into its original state. Movies and commercials often demand different looks. So these cars and locomotives have been repainted and reconfigured countless times. You know, but we like to keep them original looking for the film industry. So when you come out here, you see a coach. It's gonna be pretty much like when it came off the railroad. Still, when you're dealing with Hollywood, even the railroad tunnels aren't what they seem. We built this movie set in six weeks for uh, Walt Disney Productions. Uh, Return to Witch Mountain. That was just one of several films the Fillmore and Western have been part of. I got finished doing Water for Elephants. That was the last huge production that was on the property. And then we've done Inception and uh, Sea Biscuit. And it goes on and on. The list is uh, quite long on the major motion pictures that we've been involved in. When the sun goes down, 
one of the railroad's other trains becomes the star attraction for many who are looking to enjoy a fine meal on the rails. Our dinner trains are very unique. They're 1950s streamliners. People can come in, have a seven course meal. That meal is prepared on board and it takes people back in time, maybe back in the 50s and 60s. Back when conversation was part of the trip, Besides my wife, I don't know anyone on this train before I got on it, so it's been fun meeting new people. Food is excellent. I had a wonderful time. It was a great experience. I would do it again. If I have the opportunity, I would do it again. There's a wide variety of equipment and experiences to be found here. Because whether you're making a movie or a family memory, you'll find there's nothing like finding the right machine to help you travel through time. It's like a physical nostalgia that you can actually touch. It's really something special. You know that it's, it's seen and experienced a lot of things even though it's just a machine. People say, you know, if these walls could talk, well, these cars do talk. You know, you just have to listen. They talk. And you'll hear it in a quiet community just outside the movie capital of the world or on your next trip to the theater to see the heavy hardware of the Fillmore and Western stealing the show.